Iowa's defensive line was what won them a handful of football games last year. It's the heartbeat of that team. And this year, while they have A.J. Epinesa, a preseason first-team All-American, set to anchor the group, there will be a few new guys having to step up this year. That's what Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso is focusing on today. Iowa's defensive line was one of the best in the Big Ten last season. It's been a work in progress this offseason after losing all four starters. That was a real area of interest uh, going into spring practice, I thought, uh, because of the guys we graduated and the number of guys we graduated up front. The most unproven of the group are senior tackles Cedric Lattimore and Brady Reef. Both players have had playing time the past two seasons, but neither were consistent enough to become a starter until this offseason. People mature a little bit at different times, and they've been consistent and they've been very, very good for us up front. They look like seniors are supposed to look, you know, and that, that's reassuring. So uh, you hope that's going to happen. Yeah, there's no guarantees, but we've, we've witnessed that with both those guys. The veteran tackles are expected to start on the inside of Chauncey Golston and A.J. Epinesa. <laughs> Phil Parker says he does plan to use a rotation up front again this season because he believes it benefits the entire unit. I think when you keep guys fresh, you got a better chance to play good defense because they can wear and tear on you over there. Every single down they're sitting there playing and they're beating up on each other. The rotation is far from set, but Kirk Ferentz did point to a few candidates who could help to avoid the attrition in the trenches. Noah Shannon I thought really did a good job in the spring. Davion looks good. He's in good shape right now. It's probably the best shape he's been in his life. And then Austin Schulte was a guy that really emerged I thought during spring practice. Uh, there's no question he'll be a, a guy that will have a role this year for us. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.